Thank you all for coming. Um, I know some of you have traveled long distances to be here today to mourn with us. We are all saddened by this gradual but sudden and tragic loss of this beloved member of the Bergenstein and Stiberg family. Let us take a brief moment of silence in remembrance of Mary's iPhone 6C, which she had aptly screen named Viking Master Mary's Crazy Ass Mix. I've prepared something. You, my phone, gave me so much pleasure these last few years that your battery lasted. So many memories. Like that time I dropped it one foot from the carpet and the screen didn't shatter into a million pieces. You were great like that. I cherished the first day I held you. The doctor at the Verizon store handed you to me. My baby. So small and new and a perfect reflection of myself. And it doesn't even matter that you used to... That you used to die even though you were at 47%. I should have kept you warm and dry, and I shouldn't have forced all those rice bats on you, which I hear hurt more than help. <sighs> but I must admit, those drunk tiles you let through, and all those times you claimed you were out of space, even though you weren't, and you forced me to update, and I hated that fucking update because it just made things slower, and I had to learn how to use all the apps in my phone all over again, and it all seemed so unnecessary in the first place. And I had to do it again and again and again! Despite all that, I feel like I've lost my best friend. And all my Facebook friends. And my Insta friends. And that strange, rectangular imprint in my jeans back pocket. Those jeans will never fit the same again. No, it's, it's, it's okay. I'm almost done. Oh, my iPhone 6C. No amount of doctors or nurses, well, Verizon employees, could have saved you from those last couple of semi-comatose months. <sighs> Although I will never remember all of the photos we took together. I know they're all up in the cloud now. I'll never forget you. And promise to be frustrated with my new iPhone X for at least a week. Thank you.